Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Matt Modi. I'm a content producer and betting analyst for, as you see it right here, oddsjam.com. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to bet on NBA player props. So obviously with the rise of fantasy, with the rise of daily fantasy, player props have become incredibly popular to bet on. Obviously, unsurprisingly, the rise of stars in the league. NBA, more than any other sport, has become a player-driven league. We see a lot of people growing up, they aren't necessarily fans of a team, they're just fans of a player. Player movement has obviously had a lot to do with this in, in the NBA. So one of the things that, like I said, it's just become incredibly popular to bet on. So due to that popularity, I figured it would be helpful, hopefully, for you watching this video to come out with something just kind of teaching you how to bet on NBA player props. And then, of course, at the very end, profitable NBA player prop betting strategies and ways you can actually make money betting on player props. So first things first, what is a player prop? Well, the, hopefully this is the easiest part of the video. It's a, any stat, any counting stat in the NBA. Points, rebounds, assists, obviously the major three. Steals, blocks, another important one. How about first basket? How about double-double? How about triple-double? Um, you can also bet on turnovers. You can also bet on points plus rebounds. Pl points plus rebounds plus assists. Assists plus rebounds. Assists plus points. Basically, if there is any type of stat, any type of counting stat that is tracked in the NBA, it can be bet on as a player prop. One of the major ones that I forgot to mention, three-pointers, over, under, three-pointers made, stuff like that. That's what a player prop is, and those are the types of player props you can bet on. That part's pretty easy, but I figured the easiest way to show you how to actually place a player prop bet would be to actually show you. So let me share my screen here, and I'm gonna show you on the four major sports books. The concept is pretty much uniform across all of the sports books, but these are the main four BetMGM, DraftKings, FanDuel, and Caesars. I'm going to show you how to bet on different player props on every single book. Um, and starting with DraftKings. So DraftKings is actually my favorite. The reason why, they're the only sports book that lets you look at player props for every single game on one page, which I, which, which I think is really cool. So if you go to DraftKings.com, you go to NBA, you click player props, this little tab right here, player props, you can pull up um, you can pull up the, the player prop odds for every major um, player prop. And the cool thing is you can scroll through every game. So most sports books, you have to choose an individual game. Like, you know, I wanted to look at the Sixers Pacers. Then click player props. With DraftKings, you can look at every single game at the same time, which is really cool. So as you can see here, I can scroll down and look at all the player props in the Pacers versus Sixers game. But you know what? None of these really speak to me. I can just click this little arrow, drop that down, and now I can look at the next game, Magic Knicks. And you can just scroll down for each game. And then, of course, you can toggle for the different player prop, right? You can take alternate points, which is just basically like these points are going to be their main line. And alternate points is going to be any type of alternate line. So instead of, you know, Joel Embiid over under 29 and a half, how about does Joel Embiid score 20 plus? Stuff like that. And you can toggle for each individual player prop and you can see all the different options here. It's just insane the amount of stuff you can bet on. This game's leaders one is cool because you can bet on the individual leader of a specific game. So Magic Knicks, who's going to lead the game in assists? You can bet on that. How about the leading scorer? How about the leader in three-pointers made? Stuff like that. Pretty cool <clears throat> stuff you can do on DraftKings. FanDuel, and FanDuel is similar to every other book where you have to actually click player. Um, you can't. You have to go through each game individually. I mean, you can't look at one screen that has all of them. So you click Pacers versus Sixers, and then you can either look under popular, which kind of will have them, like first basket, method of first basket, which is cool. You can, you can bet on someone not only to score first, but how they will score. So if I think Joel Embiid is going to score off a three-point shot, I can bet that. And you scroll down, right, three-quarter triple-double, double-double, uh, then you can look at uh, individual plays here, like player points. If I wanted to bet on individual player points, obviously. Here are, the, are all the different alternate lines as well. 
So instead of betting on someone's over under, they just, well, they score 10 plus, 15 plus, 20 plus, whatever. Um, rebounds, assists, threes. Player combos, specifically on FanDuel, is just points plus assists, points plus rebounds, all that good stuff. Pretty easy there. BetMGM, I think, has a pretty good layout in terms of just scrolling through. So for BetMGM, you click into a game. Again, you click player props, but they have them categorized pretty pretty nicely. So points, rebounds, assists, you can filter or you can scroll through each one. Turnover, assists, stuff like that. Double, double, triple, double. If you wanted to bet on a first basket, that's just a different column here. First basket, exact method of their first basket. Caesars, I think, has the worst way of doing it. Uh, NBA, you click a game, you click player props, and they're all on one little drop down here. It's not as bad. They used to have all of them um, opened up at the same time like this. You had to scroll through every single one. I just think it can be kind of confusing to go through it for uh, Caesars. Like some of them, they have them spaced out, Pacers, Sixers. Some of them, they don't. Um, but like why is assists have them all on one screen and rebounds and points has Pacers, Sixers, stuff like that. It's kind of interesting that Caesars does it. But regardless, this is actually how you can bet on player props in the NBA, you just, you know, okay, I want to bet on Benedict Matherin, stud rookie, total points. You click it, it pulls up here. You can bet $100, you can bet $10, you can bet $50, whatever it may be. You type it in here, you place, place bet, and you are good to go. That's how to bet on player props. That's the easiest part. The hardest, the hard part is how to make money betting on NBA player props. And there are a bunch of different strategies and stuff to look out for. Uh, number one, the easiest way to make money betting on player props is just to bet positive expected value. Odd Jam, it's a really cool tool. What it does is it can literally show you positive expected value player props. So you just go to the Odd Jam positive EV tool. You go to market, you filter specifically for player props, and it pulls up all of these different player props you can bet on. Every single one of these is going to be mathematically profitable. So what's that mean? What does mathematically profitable mean? Basically, the way positive expected value betting on player props works is Odds Jam in this column you see here, the no big odds. They basically pull what, <clears throat> excuse me, what the true line of a market should be. So this first one, Kevin Porter under two and a half threes, you can get that at points bet at plus 145. Uh, Odds Jam says that should actually be priced at plus 108. So there's obviously a massive gap between those two numbers, which shows you that this is a positive expected value bet, that this is a mathematically profitable bet. So betting positive expected value is an easy way to make money betting on NBA player props. You can also use the Odds Jam Props app. So you go to the Odds Jam Props app. It's available to be downloaded on any iOS device, iPhone, des uh, desktop, Mac, iPad, whatever. Um, and the cool thing, it's really cool, what it does is it pulls up historical data on how a player, player performs on a specific stat. So if I want to look up Joel Embiid, I type in his name right here. I type in Joel and just scroll down. You can see all of the different stats that are available. And if you click a stat, it pulls up his historical data. So we see here points. The line is at 29 and a half. We see that he has gone over. Basically, he scored 30 plus points in 73 of his last 58 games or 148, excuse me, his last 148 games at about a 49 percent rate. That's how often Embiid goes over this total in his career. But obviously we want to look at not just his career as a whole, but how about recently? In his last 25, 11 of 25. So not as good. Last 10, only two of his last 10 games. In his last five, he's only done it once. You can also move the line, which is cool. So you know what? I don't want to bet on him to go over 29. How about, how do I see if he does on a lower number? So you see this little drop down here. Let's look at like 25. I want him to go 25 plus. You click that button, you click done, and now it shows you the odds for over 25, which is cool. So you can update it based on that. So basically, you can use this in conjunction with positive expected value betting. Like there's a positive expected value play. Let me refresh this, make sure I always have the most constant odds. There's a positive expected value play on Contavious Caldwell Pope, KCP, to go under 13 and a half points. It's positive expected value. Seems to be a good play. Let's see how he's been doing historically at this number. So we just type in his name, Caldwell Pope points. Looks like he has gone over this number in only 52 of 161 games, but in his last 25, 14 of 25. 
his last 10, four of 10, his last five, three of five. So it gets kind of better the more you look at it. So um, using the Odd Jam Props app is a really cool way to uh, look at player historical data. Another thing that you can do, which is really cool, is the Odd Jam screen. So if you just go to oddjam.com, you, you go to screen, you can filter specifically for sports. So if I click here, you see it pull up this drop down. I want to bet on the NBA. The next thing I want to do, let's say I want to bet on player points. The way what the screen does, and this is so cool, is it pulls up um, every single player prop and what every single book prices this prop at. So not only am I looking at uh, a Sixers game, but I see where every single book prices player points for a Sixers game. But if you scroll down, it pulls up odds for every single game. So if you're looking at like, you know, a parlay or you're looking to bet a specific book, something like that, whatever you're looking to do, and I can zoom in here, whatever you're looking to do, if you use the odds jam screen, you have everything exactly on one screen, which I think is really cool. So you can just scroll through and immediately try and identify sports books that have mispriced lines. Like if we go back to Joel Embiid, every single book prices his point total at about 29 and a half, except for one book. Bet online that prices it at 30 and a half. Now, Bet online is actually a very sharp book. So you use Bet online as one of the books that kind of um, will give you what a true line should be. So if there was a book that had Embiid's point total lower, that would be a good price. We can see here 18 and a half for Tyrese Halliburton. And then one couple books have it at 19 and a half. So you can immediately identify outliers and identify profitable player prop bets to make just from looking at all of the odds on one screen. So that's how you can bet on player props. Those are a couple player prop betting strategies. Other than that, there's a couple of things you want to look out for. Obviously, I mentioned the historical data. You also want to look at injury news. You want to look at the opponent. Obviously, there's a, there's a couple other things. Injury news, probably the most important one, uh, mace, mostly if your player is being rested or not. And if he is, then who the backup is going to be, and maybe you target that backup. So there's a couple of things like specific to the NBA that is that is uh, stuff that you should look out for. But overall, using the Odd Jam screen, using the positive EV page, and using the player prop app, very easy ways to make money betting on NBA player props. It's gone incredibly well for me. If you just look at my betting history, specifically on the NBA, I'm up about over 13K betting on the NBA. And most of this, I would say, is betting on NBA player props. So I can attest to myself from myself as an example that it is profitable betting on NBA player props, but that is going to be it. So if there are any questions, please let me know, comment on the video. You can send us an email contact at ajam.com with any questions as well. But regardless, I hopeful, I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate some positive feedback. Subscribe to the Ajam YouTube channel, like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. If something was confusing. That's fine. Let me know in the comments as well, but that is going to be it. So enjoy the NBA season and have a good one.